is hiring a large number of product managers, designers, and engineers working for them. It's one of the largest tier one companies continues hire people throughout the entire layoff seasons. And this is definitely the best company for you to jumpstart your career right away. And also pay even higher than product managers in fan companies right now. However, the interview questions at TikTok is extremely difficult. And even the first round interview with the recruiter, they're gonna ask you product sense, product metric, product design questions. It's really difficult. Therefore, you must use the right methodology, right framework to nail all the upcoming challenging interview questions at TikTok. In this video, I'm gonna cover the top 20 interview questions on TikTok and the right framework for you to nail those interviews. Stay until the end of this video where I share with you the bonus tip that only applicable for TikTok product manager interviews and most people lost their job offer just because they made these critical mistakes. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check the new video every Tuesday. I have helped so many students landing their dream PM job offer in TikTok and we also refer students to our partners in TikTok as well. So we know everything inside out regarding how you're able to quickly nail your job offer in TikTok. In my last video where I interviewed my student Amy talking about her journey from CPA to product manager in TikTok, make sure to check out this video right here. The first type of interview questions at TikTok is behavioral interview questions. For example, why TikTok? Why TikTok Live? Why TikTok Shopping? Question number two, what's your strengths and weakness? Question number three, tell me about yourself. This is a must ask interview questions in all type of companies out there. Question number four, what's your past experience in ABCD company? Question number five, tell me a time when you failed. Those are typical behavioral and leadership interview questions. But lots of people, if you're not able to pass the first round of interview at TikTok, it's likely you failed those behavioral interview questions. And I invented a unique framework called Grail Framework to tackle those interview questions to make it short and concise. Grail Framework stands for get to the point, rationale, actions, impact, and learning. I gave you a specific sample answers of Grail Framework in this video where I use tell me a time when you failed as an example. Make sure to check out the detailed descriptions over there. And I have another sample answer regarding tell me about yourself in 30 seconds. Make sure to check out this video right here as well. I'm also going to link them in the description of this video. The interview questions start get even harder from now on. The second type of interview questions at TikTok is product management knowledge deep dive question. Those questions will also be asked in the first round interview with a recruiter. For example, question number six, if you are a product manager of live shopping product at TikTok, how would you lead the project? What features would you add? And walk me through your thought process. This type of interview question immediately becomes very challenging because you need to tell them about end-to-end -end product management lifecycle skills and process and use the creative thinking to think about what specific innovative feature you can add to TikTok Live. Question number seven, do you think Instagram Live is a successful product and why? Question number eight, compare product functions among TikTok, Snapchat, and Instagram. Those kind of questions become extremely hard because not only you need to know TikTok, you also need to know the competitor product. And this is also the typical first round interview within TikTok. And they will really want to see if you really love TikTok and if you know the entire market landscape of TikTok and TikTok competitors and do side by side comparisons. And that's how you must start to use different kind of product and really think about how you are a product manager at TikTok before you even walk into any interview. I'm going to film a separate video dive deeper regarding product evaluation comparison. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you're notified once a new video is uploaded on YouTube. The third type of interview questions is product design type of question. Now, product design is very typical in all type of interview rounds within tier one companies or tier two companies, all type of companies. And in TikTok, they ask you something very specific related to their product. For example, question number nine, how would you design TikTok for an elder audience? Question number 10, how would you improve TikTok? Question number 11, what's your favorite product and how would you improve it? We answer the design 
And the favorite product questions, you need to use two different framework. For example, for what's your favorite product, you must dive deeper into different kind of customer segmentations before you talk about yourself, what's your favorite product, because we represent one group of customer segmentation. And when you talk about why it's a favorite product, you must address specific pain point of you who represent this customer segmentation. You can see my sample answer right here. We use crypto product as an example to show you what's the best answer you can say in an interview within two minutes. In terms of design questions, such as design TikTok for elderly audience, this type of question is very critical for everybody to use the modified circles framework. Why do I emphasize on modified? Because most of candidates, they make the fatal mistakes. Whenever they go into any job interviews, they only talk about very small customer segmentation without thinking big scope of thinking. And they frequently make this mistake to ask interviewer to pick the customer segmentation for you by asking who exactly you want to design it for, how old is elderly audience, can you define this for me? And all those questions are wrong clarifying questions to ask at the very beginning because you're literally making the scope of thinking much smarter. And there is a top 10 clarifying questions you should ask at the beginning of any product design interview questions. You should go to this website right here and download it so that you know what's the right question to ask in any type of product design interview questions. And I use the modified circles framework to answer design an Uber app for people with disabilities. You should totally check out this free video right here where I give you the demo of the end-to-end -end six steps process to break down any kind of comprehensive product design interview questions. The fourth type of interview questions at TikTok is product metrics and execution interview questions. For example, question 12, what's the success metrics of your current project? Question number 13, as a product manager at TikTok, how would you know if this product is good or bad? Question number 14, how would you embed new technology to TikTok live shopping? Regarding those product metrics interview questions, I highly recommend you guys to use my computer science PhD framework invented by me, Dr. Nancy Lee. So what this stands for is, you must start with why and mission of this company and customer segmentation, CS, and then PhD stands for prioritized metrics, which means your newer star metrics and product health metrics and the de-risk metrics. And all those metrics are very critical for you to give a very comprehensive answer to those product metrics and define success and different kind of goals questions. I filmed a very in-depth training using example of design success metrics of Facebook event product in this free training right here. Make sure to watch this video and learn exactly how you apply the My Computer Science PhD framework. Question number 15. You are the PM for TikTok's live shopping. The engagement of US audience dropped significantly in the past two months. What would you do? This type of interview question is actually extremely difficult because it's problem solving. And this is also the typical real life experience what you're facing at the TikTok as well because you're solving problems every single day. Now, the best framework to solve this problem is the CPT framework. So C stands for customers, P stands for product, T stands for technology, E stands for external factors. You need to use those four elements to evaluate what could go wrong that lead into significant job within two months for TikTok live engagement. I'm gonna film a separate video. I give you a walkthrough of the live example of applying CBT framework in the upcoming video sequence. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and you will be notified once a new video will be uploaded in the near future. The fifth type of interview question at TikTok is estimation questions. Question number 16. How would you estimate the user size of your past product? Question number 17. How many creators are there in TikTok US? When you work on the estimation questions, it's very important you understand there are two ways to solve this estimation questions. One is top down and the other one is bottoms up. Top down means you estimate the total number of people, a percentage can be a creators and a percentage of them could be on TikTok and a percentage of them is gonna be active on TikTok. So if from big all the way become smaller, that's top down. Bottoms up approach means you have an equation where you calculate each individual element of things goes into TikTok creators and you add them up into a total equation. That's like solving a math problem. I already gave you more examples regarding different kind of estimation questions and how would you solve them in this video right here. Make sure to check it out in depth right here. The sixth type of interview question is for a strategy question. For example, question number 18. What's a new technology you're interested in and feel like it has a great future? Most people think this question is quite easy. Of course, everyone is going to say AI. 
And however, you cannot just say AI, you really need to connect AI with TikTok, or you can say VR. You need to connect VR into TikTok's mission and audience. I invented a unique framework called Gucci Framework, where it has been currently used by even existing product managers in TikTok and to answer any product strategy interview questions and use it in real life strategy thinking as well. So Gucci's framework stands for goals and mission, unmet customer needs, customer segmentation, competition, and integrated ecosystem. With this specific framework, you will know what type of new technology is very trendy and how it's going to impact TikTok and think about the entire marketplace and landscape and competitive environment. I broke down the Gucci framework in real life case studies in this video right here. Make sure to check it out. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video as well. The last type of interview question at TikTok is a culture fit question. This is quite unique for TikTok. For example, question number 19, how would you handle stress? Question number 20, tell me your experience. You have to multitask. This is more than just behavioral interview questions. You really need to understand why TikTok asks you those interview questions. Because the real life environment working for TikTok is very stressful. And frequently product managers in TikTok are going to work on multiple important products at the same time. So they are multitasking at the same time. So during the interview, if you're able to show them examples of you working in a high stress environment and still being able to deliver amazing results, you're able to run amazing offers and also getting paid significantly higher than average industry salary and even higher than fan company salary as well. Now here comes a very important bonus tip. TikTok is a Chinese owned company. When you work for TikTok, they frequently use Chinese plus English during the daily operations. But that doesn't mean that pure American speaking uh, people cannot work for TikTok. In my last podcast where I interviewed the head of product at TikTok and Kim, he's American, he's also Korean, he speaks zero Chinese at all, but he was head of product at TikTok. So Chinese language is not required. However, if for any reason during the interview, the hiring manager or recruiter speak Chinese with you during an interview, you must be able to answer in Chinese as well. Lots of people answer Chinese questions in English that make them losing those job offers. So it's very critical you know what the company culture look like. If you're preparing for any product manager interviews out there, I strongly recommend you to use the latest interview questions database um, to prepare for your upcoming interviews. And you should go to this website and download all the top 50 product manager interview questions database. And those database has been used by fan companies and non-fan companies for all the different kind of tech companies out there. I'm gonna link it in the description of this video as well. And make sure to check out my sample answer to what's your favorite product. This is a mass ask interview questions in all type of product management interviews and out there. I want all of you guys to be successful in your upcoming interview. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PM Accelerator.io. Like and subscribe. I'm gonna see you in the next video right here.